the woods around the board. From carrot, tried and Boris wood, we up times did explore. Canon Henley bears the 17th century Augustinian chalice of Dunmore. Seamus Mitchell and Tommy Morris bear the canopy, and John Coleman is one of the altar boys. Horrock Bradley takes charge of the old pony and trap, while the festival queen of 1975 is his daughter Maeve. Vincent Tierney and Michael Mullen. A special mass was celebrated outside the Augustinian Abbey, marking the return of the old chalice of Dunmore after several hundred years, there's Michael Howley and Margaret Keaveney, Mick Hussey and Father Williams prepares to celebrate Mass. Meanwhile in the congregation, Jimmy Finnegan chats with his old IRA comrade Tom Mannion of Brackdown, while Kevin Bowman, Jimmy Graney, John Jennings reminisce about their LDF days. Archbishop Conan, Monsignor Mooney, Canon Henley and Father Williams prepare to concelebrate Mass. And so we skip forward a few years to the festival of 1978. Brian Monroe and Margaret Keaveney. Tommy Howley, deep in conversation with Brian Hines. And Father James Kelly, eyeing the local talent. John John Murray and John Keenan with the dark glasses making him look like the Cincinnati Kid. Michael Welch. Off they go on the pony and trap, Mickey Kelly and friends. And here is the great Tom Welch, affectionately known as Tom Silver. He's just spotted the cameraman, and the fag deposited in the mouth, he goes valiantly searching for his flute, which no doubt when he finds it, he will give us the rendition of the geese in the bog. Good man, Tom, may you never lack for the bit of scotch grass. <laughs> oh, that's Paddy Murray, the real sergeant. No, oh, that's, that's only the fake sergeant. That's Sergeant Morgan. John Hogan gets the square ready for the parade, aided by Paddy Murray, while John Keenan gives a helping hand with directions. Jimmy Cohen and Seamus Kennelly demonstrating that beards were all the fashion in that year, and Jimmy Diskin, long-serving rugby player and official, fortifies himself for the festival. Down the old street road, I
the civil defense led by George Bruin, and the ladies' civil defense, that's Kathleen O'Loughlin. In 1978, the festival was opened by Father James McDyer of Glen Cullum Kill, County Donegal. Eddie O'Loughlin and his sister Anne show their skill at Irish dancing. Father John and Willie Leiden. Mickey Hussey was the mayor of Dermora in 1978. Pat Culkin, Sean Bones, Jerry Mooney, Connor Fahey, and Ambrose Dolan, a long serving player with the McHales in the 40s, enjoying a festival drink. And that's uh, Pori Gilmer soling through, and a great goal from Pori Gilmer. <laughs> well done, Pori. John Gaffney and Bosco Donlan. Johnny Gilmer. Gaffney is going for it. Gaffney is in the wars. Gaffney is buttoned up, and Gaffney is getting cracked. <laughs> John Coleman being presented with the cup by Mick Murray. There's Porrick Gilmer again. Barney Michael Farrelly. The senior competition in 1978 was between Chum and Dublin Road. The Dublin Road included Frank Ward, Stephen Mannion, three of the Culkins, Johnny Carey was an all-star in 1971, Jimmy Mannion, Pud Comer, Frank Comer, Patine Donlan, 12 years after he won an All-Ireland, Michael Howley, Albert Comer. Captain of the Chum Road, Vincent Tierney is followed by Jerry Rattigan, Martin and Johnny Mitchell, John Keenan, another holder of three All-Irelands, Noel Kilgariff, Jimmy Diskin, Martin Burke, John Concannon, DJ Flaherty, Sean Gannon, Jimmy Cohn, Jim Reddington, Charlie Kelly, Michael Welsh, the manager of the team, Seamus Mitchell and Porrick Mitchell. And the two teams have their photograph taken before the Four Roads final. Oh, Patty and Donald is unceremoniously down. Now that's Mick Culkin going through. Oh, Mick, the pain of it. Patty and Donald, 12 years after he won his third All-Ireland, shows he can still score off the freeze. That's Frank Ward on the burst. Now he'll be looking for Patty and Donald up front. Patty is running on, and he's going for it in the right-hand corner. But unfortunately, this time, as before, he's down again. Bertie Coleman at the presentation. Tommy Keenan in the background. <laughs> Michael Murphy doing the needful as usual. Now, look at this for a fine body of men. Anyone recognize the young lads of 1978? That's young Schahl with the ball, anyway. Michael Murphy refereed the Murphy's Trophies final. That's James Howley, I think. A high drama at the near goal as Michael calls for a free. But he gives a penalty, but nobody told him that they weren't allowed in this competition, actually. But in the end, it's kicked over the bar. There's Sean Finnegan. Paddy Mannion. Michael Birmingham. Pat Nestor. And his cousin, Mary Nestor. 
Jimmy Reddington. Meanwhile, out at the road race in Gorough France, Brian Monroe is getting there ready. There's John and Patrick Knightley at the start. Michael Higgins. Mickey Joyce. Patsy Finnegan. That's Joe Mullen. Johnny Morris. Max Glennon. John Mannion. Michael Howley. Margaret Rattigan. And Caroline Lyne. How's that for identical twins? There's John Gaffney. Game for anything. Father John Leiden, all the way back from the Philippines to run in this race outside Lally's. Aidan Mooney. James Connell, one of the favourites for the men's title. Jerry Mooney. Oh, and Jerry Rattigan looking very anxious before the start. Oh, you have Pat Welsh there, Patrick Knightley, young Richie Reddington. The young lads are let off separate to the others. Jerry Mooney, Barry Teeling, always supports the road race and the festival, even though he lives in Dublin. Tommy Morris was there as well. Caroline doing the high kicks, and they're off. The young lads going away first. This is a graded race, and the men are let off much later. There's Caroline. Rita Dunlan, I think. Caroline Lines leading at the halfway stage. And there's Josie Keneally, not very interested in the race. The Reddingtons near the castle. Now approaching the castle at this stage, Caroline has just been passed by Pat Dunlan. Michael Higgins is just behind him. Coming into the pitch, it's Pat Dunlan, first home. But remember, there are different categories in this. That's one of our guest runners. Johnny Lyons, Michael Higgins, and there's James Connell, who has ran for Ireland at under-21 level. A superb athlete, really. Caroline Lyons is the first of the ladies home. Johnny Morris, a very fit man indeed. Well done, James. Jerry Rattigan, hands on hips. Pa Culkin has run for Dunmore and Clare River Harriers. And Michael Monroe leading home the young lads. Donald Murphy. Kieran Nestor of Gorofons. And that's Michael Hannan of Colooney. Sean Mullen. I think that's uh, Patsy Finnegan. Richie Reddington, possibly. Now, on the green approaching is Vincent McWalter. Vincent won three county championships in one year with Dunmore in 1973. There's John Gaffney. Dermot Kilgariff. Porrick Glennon. Uh, we think that's Michael Slattery. Pat Welsh. It's been a very warm day. They've been taking off their shorts. Twins making an appearance. Jerry Mooney in the blue. Barry Teeling finishing well. Mickey Joyce not in the race, but he was a good runner in his day. He ran for Ireland. Uh, that's Michael Noon. Corey Clark in the stripes. Could that be Cullum Keaveney? John Joyce. The guest runner, Tom Michael Howley. Aidan Mooney, and to the, his right is Morgan O'Brien. And John Mooney, keeping the family together. 
And could that probably be young Brian Monroe? Well, that's certainly Brian Monroe Sr. Mrs. Lyons gives the road race prize to Michael Monroe for the Winter well, Junior race. There's Richie Reddington. Pat Donlan gets the prize for first past the line. Pat has a very good record in this race and he's won it several times. And here's mother to son. That's Jill Lyons. James Connell, Margaret Rattigan, and Pa Kulke. Well, the Greasy Pig competition. Well, on the whole, <laughs> this was a competition to see who could pick up a greasy pig and deposit him in a trailer in the shortest possible time. Sean Bones did an excellent job. Now, it's like could be in for a rather cold bath here. This was a competition where you had to get the ball through this hole. It was a problem for the cameraman, if Pat Coleman. That's Johnny Haverty. This was the mothers and daughters race. Now, watch for the lady in red. She may be carrying top weight, but my, she's a pure flyer. Look around the left there. Ooh, needs a bit of coaching and finishing technique. Pulling up before the line, not a good idea. There's the men's race, couple of fallers like Peaches Brook. Oh, the finish, it's nearly a photo finish. Look at the skill of that girl in the brown. It's where she had the egg glued to the spoon. Here's the lady in red. Actually, ladies in red. Watch for the finish of this one. Winner all right in that one, despite a dive for the line. It's B. Cullinan. Michael Howley is the judge here. Oh, the strain of it, girls. Oh, I wonder, is that Teresa Scott at the end of the line? I think Teresa's on the ground at this stage, though. Michael McNamara supervises the tossing of the sheaf. That's the object. Get it over the bar. I think this is one of the Finnegan's. Whoopsie. Have a look at this guy. He's a kitto. Boy, has he got technique. He sends it about 10 foot over the bar. Watch this. Hup, yeah, bye. Now, in the nail driving competition, the winner is the person who can drive home the nail in the least number of clouts. I think Francie Comer is having some difficulty here. Would you employ this man as a carpenter? Mary, at taking up the rear. That's Gay Keenan to the fore. I see Owen Flaherty back there as well for the Tomb Road. Oh, the strain of it all, girls. And the Tomb Road have pulled them. That's Aidan Mooney, prize Borzoi. Jerry Glennon shows his riding skills on Manus Lad. That's Brendan Martin.
Owen Nestor once wrote a poem on the Dunmore Donkey Derby, and this is a verse from it. There were asses from Bonogs and Cylon Well, from Stone Park and Blind Park and Cullywoher as well. Carabunya, Carapadden, to give up their best, and a jack from the mountain, the pride of the West. Good man, Jerry, and Manus Lad. Thursday was the traditional market day in Dunmore. And Nora Gannon, as usual, oversees the churning of the butter. Paddy Costello shows the traditional method of using the flail. And Paddy Murray, <laughs> you can't beat the old ass all the same. George Bruin and Tommy Howley get the pig ready for the roasting. It is and abetted by the McDermott brothers. I remember one year the pig gave me more than I bargained for. I think to be polite it's called the looseness. That's Madame Zaza, otherwise known as Vera O'Malley. And Johnny Gormley wonder what the future holds for him. When I went to town on Arca Day, sweet music through the air. There were travellers there from Bayo, from Galway and from Clare. Musicians and street singers were going from door to door. And the old days paid the piper in my old hometown. Nora Welch and Maggie Reddington. Good on ye girls. Won't be long now. There's Mrs. Murphy trying to get a bargain. Jack Mullen and Bernie Rattigan making the bargain with the traditional slapping of hands. Pat Dunn relaxing at the Castle Bridge. Being watched by Andy O'Connor. In the tennis, we have Mary Magella Coleman in the final. Playing against her is Cathy Finnegan. In the men's final, we had Pat Coleman and Charlie Kelly. There's Pat showing his skill. In the end, Pat emerged victorious. But uh, Charlie looks quite pleased with his runners up medal. Tommy Keaveney, Jimmy Graney and Tommy Keaveney are two of the tour guides. And one of the first places they visited was the O'Rourke tomb up near Clonbury. Jimmy Graney actually wrote a history of Dunmore. Nothing like comfort, Tommy. Oh, mind yourself there, Tommy, you don't fall off the wall. This was the McDonnell plot down near Cashel Cross, and Mickey Reddington is explaining the history of the McDonnell family, who had a big business in Dunmore from 1860 to 1913. Don McCrina. 
Mickey Reddington gets some history from Don Macrina's oldest resident. There's Hubert Birmingham, Michael Howley, Jerry Mooney, Tommy Keaveney. And the tour finally finished up in the Augustinian Abbey in Dunmore. The rugby club was founded in the early 1970s, around the time the infamous GAA ban disappeared. Kevin Prendergast refereed the local tournament. There was Coyne making a run for it. There's Coz again. Out to Jimmy Diskin. Jimmy, oh, Jimmy goes to ground. Gets the ball away like a true trooper. There's Jimmy again. Brought to ground again. The class player gets it away once more. Now, James to put in for the scrum. Ah, oh, lads, up again. There's Jack Halliday and a few of the Dunmore supporters. Tom Clamp was the judge for the dog show in 1978. These dogs, they belonged to Ollie O'Shea. And Ollie's cousins. There's the red setter with Mrs. Kevlehan. And as Connor Fahey takes down the bunting from the Bank of Ireland, we say farewell to the Dunmore Festival of 1978.